home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching you know uh, Summit City Sports man they're doing an awesome job and I mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting and I'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and I mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne Indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's is, is, is just here man it's just is really it's really cool I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSN Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. 
in four years, years this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School soccer fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live from Shields Field, home of the Bishop Dwanger Saints, as we have the one and all conference battle between two undefeated squads in the Northrup Bruins. They are 11-1 overall under head coach Colin Jones, and they are 6-0 in the Summit Athletic Conference. This is their last go-round here in conference play uh, for Northrop. As for Dwenger, led by head coach Carlos Cruz, they are 9-3-1 overall, and they are 5-0 in conference play. Last night, they were supposed to play Northside out at Krieger Park, but due to the rain, that was postponed to tomorrow. So it's still a chance as Northside is 5-1 in conference play. So... This should decide mostly what it is, but if, say, Dwanger does defeat Northrup and Northside defeats D uh, Dwanger, we got ourselves a three-way tie for the Summit Athletic Conference. But right now, first is first. The last two undefeated squads in the last week of the regular season, the, North, the Northrup Bruins and the Bishop Dwanger Saints. This is SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us. You can follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Hunter Sosenheimer back and with me here running the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Northrup, absolutely outstanding goal scorers. Anas Dervasevich, 22 goals on the season. The sophomore, James Walker, has 14 goals. And then the outstanding junior with 11 goals and 11 assists is Namik Mayak. He's an outstanding player. Northrop is a tremendous club. And Bishop Dwinger is going to have to step up to the plate here tonight against the outstanding Northrop squad. And they got the players to do it, no question about it. One of the best center backs in the state and Thomas Sturman, the senior and captain, uh, Joey Farrar. Uh, Farrar, a outstanding goal scorer up top. They have a lot of speed. Owen Hine, Mateo Baker. They got some players. Mix, Ma Max Quintana in the midfield. They got some players to really be able to win this ball game here against Northrop. I'm excited to see how this is all going to shake out here tonight. So before we get started, they're going to do a prayer and the national anthem. So I am going to go ahead and take a short break. And we'll come back for the start of this outstanding Summit Athletic Conference battle between these Northrop Bruins and the Bishop Doinger Saints. Before I do that, I wanted to give you just real quick the outstanding uh, sectionals are coming up next week, ladies and gentlemen. It's already upon us. This is the last week of the regular season. I'll let you know where these two teams are heading next week when we come back right here live at Summit City Sports. Dot com. And in all that we do for the glory of God.
Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. We are set for the Summit Athletic Conference battle here at Shields Field on the beautiful rain trench turf. It's been raining quite some time over here since that last, since last night where we were out here for the Lady Saints taking on the Lady Legends, uh, which Dwinger won that one. And now to the boys' side here with Bishop Dwinger and Northrop. Let's go to our starters. He's a sophomore, number two, Diego Reynoso. He's a junior, number four, Adam Moreve. He's a junior, number five, Nate McMahon. He's a senior, number nine, Alan Aguilar. He's a senior, number 10, Enos Derechevich. He's a sophomore, number 12, Brandon Vidal Aries. He's a junior, number 13, Miguel Gonzalez. He's a sophomore, number 26, Mahamud Hano. He's a junior, number 11, Casey Gorsorn. And he's a senior, number 99, Luis Lopez. Head coach of the Bruins, Colin Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The starters, I'm going to replay them for you one more time. In that goal for Northrup, number 99, Luis Lopez. Number two, Diego Reynosa. Four, Adam Moravec. Five, Namek Mayek. Nine is Alan Aguilar. Ten, Anis Dervisevich. Twelve, Brandon Vidal-Arias. 
13, Miguel Gonzalez. 14, Hamza Al-Salahi. Number six, Mamama Hano. And number 11 is Casey Goshorn for the Bishop Dwinger Saints. In at goal, number 27 is David Anderson. Number five, Thomas Sturman. 10 is Owen Hine. 14, Joey Farrar. 15, Kincaid Miller. 18 is Mateo Baker. 20, Aaron Clark. 21, Cesar Bautista. 22, Max Quintana. 23 is Will Walter. And number 24 is Gabe Herber. So we are set, ladies and gentlemen. You take a look at the Saints right there. 9-3-1, and 5-0 and oh in conference play. They're rocking the gold jerseys with the blue shorts. As you see, the Northrop Bruins on the left side of the field wearing their white jerseys and the orange shorts. Whew, we're set. We're ready. Summit Athletic Conference title is in the balance here tonight. Who's it going to be? Will it be Dwyer or will it be Northrop? Again, this is SummitCitySports.com. Thank you for joining us. As we have an outstanding official out on the floor as well. He's a starter as well and a senior. Number 15, Kincaid Miller. So here we go. Bishop Dwanger will have possession to start it. And this is Indiana High School Soccer. We do play two 40-minute halves, 10-minute halftimes. You see the speed from Nate McMahick right away, putting pressure on that opening possession as Dwinger will come now near side. Sturman with a good-looking ball here. You see the quickness right now. A little wet turf. Ball's going to skip a little bit more here tonight. As that play by Hanno. He's wearing number 26. For Northrop, an outstanding sophomore. This Northrop squad looking for their third straight SAC crown under head coach Colin Jones. A little heavy on that touch from Baker. That's going to be deflected out for a throw in. Dervisevic looks to switch it. Put back into the attack, looking for Mick. Bouncing ball here. Hine lays it out wide. They center it back. Quintana tried to get to it. Nervous Evans did a nice job of shielding. Now looking for that through ball from the speedster. Nate McMahick, 11 goals on the season, 11 assists. It's a little slippage on the wet turf. A little cut dribble, and that's going to be our first corner of the match. It's going to come here for Northrup just a minute and a half in. And the ball boy thought it was a goal kick. He threw it towards the goalkeeper. <laughs> it will be Mayek to take it. Right-footed out swinger. They're going to go short. Goshorn left it back. A little flick into the box. Still loose. Oh, handball. Ball just came up and hit the right arm. I believe that was... Who was that? Was that Morvik? Check it. No, that was number two, Diego Reynosa. Reynoso, I'll say it right. Long ball from Anderson. Headed out to a touch from Vidal Arias. And we got four subs coming in for Dwangers. It is senior night here tonight. For Dwanger. So every senior did get the start here tonight under head coach Carlos Cruz. There's Ryan Close. The junior plays it back up top, looking for number seven and Quinn McKinley. Northrup throw. Headed up. Turns, surveys, try to fit it, to, fit it into Namick. Here's Aguilar. Aguilar showing you the strength and balance. Dervisevich pokes it through Namick. And a great play from David Anderson, the keeper, to save that 1v1. It was a dangerous ball. A 
A lot of action on the far side of the field thus far. Another throw in for the Bruins. Back to close. Hine. Try to get McKinley, but another throw in coming for Northrop. Good crowd on hand here at a cool Wednesday evening. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of Summit City Sports. Anderson had that little slip, but we'll get to it. And he'll roll it out near side. Aaron Clark. Clark plays Sturman. Sturman with a little bit of space. Out wide. And just backed up on that, did Farrar. And the quick throw in to Gonzalez. Miguel Gonzalez also doing double duty as a field goal kicker on the football squad for Coach Quentin Bowen. That's a good ball to Thompson, Colin Thompson. He's a sophomore. And Clark just misplayed that one out for a quick throw. Mick, he is just special on the ball, folks. Salahi. Mayak got a touch. Kept in. It's going to be a physical evening here at Shields Field. Big shout out athletic director Greg Slee. Always an outstanding host here at Bishop Dwinger High School. Sturman saw it. Tried that diagonal look to Knurk, the freshman, who checked in. Noah Kinnerk, that is. We're going to get a whistle, our first foul of the match. Good job by Colin Thompson to force the action. They had a free kick, first one of the night. Will Walter, captain, with the right foot. High ball towards that 18. Headed right up and into the box. Headed near side by Morovic. Gonzalez, excuse me, that's Aguilar. Look at Mayek measure that perfectly. Oh, good ball. Good idea from Knurk. Uh, it's going to be too heavy. And we'll roll back to Luis Lopez. Head it up. Mayek. Oh, try to get that through ball. How about that subtle job from Aguilar? Walter, a good play. Excuse me, that was Aaron Clark. 50-50 ball. Baker gets to it, lays it wide. Sturman. Whew, how about that? Good footwork. Look for that diagonal through ball again. Knurk cut it in, looking for a cross. Leaves it to Sturman, a little sliding tackle. Still loose, into the box. And offsides, came from an offside position. Did Quinn McKinley. That will be a free kick. Coming for Northrup. Nice little cool breeze out here on the north side of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Don't forget, Dwanger still has a Summit Athletic Conference game tomorrow as a rain out that should have been played last night against Northside. Looking for that through ball. Throw in the attacking end. They'll go back to Sturman. Oh. 
Good job by Lopez to come off his line. Dervisevich, how about that sweep through ball? Uh, too heavy. Anderson will come grab it. Nine minutes in. A little busy intersection here at Clinton and Washington Center. As must have an accident over there or something. A couple of cops with the cherries on. Sturman, slide tackle out of there. How about that? Put it right on the dime, too. Good cut. Finds Hine. That ball is hammered, and Anderson will have to survey that bounce, and we'll grab it. There's two outstanding clubs. We've seen it already. This is going to be a tough, tough battle here between the Saints and the Bruins. On senior night for Dwanger. Look at Mayak turn. Oh, 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 oh. He is just gives up the body. Has no self-regard for that. Leaves it back, Moravec, pressured by Baker. The relief out wide. All right, now Dwanger enjoying a little bit more possession to start this match. Baker gets back on side. Yeah, that's going to be a foul. And a free kick in a pretty good spot for Dwanger. It will be Thomas Sturman to take it. Check it. Will Walter's going to come up now and stand over this free kick. Looking with the right foot. Can he get this on goal? Plenty of St. players around the 18. He's going to chip it in. Far post. And cannot keep it in. We'll go out for a goal kick. But you've seen the speed for both squads here early already. And a substitution for Dwanger. Baker will take a rest. I get the number on that. Sub. I believe that is number six. I'll double check it here as he turns. Yep, that's number six. Another freshman for Coach Carlos Cruz. That's Dylan Colbertson. Look at that top spin on that ball. Look at the speed. Went far post, no one there. And then we'll flick it off a Northrop player for a throw in. Quick one. Looking for Knurk. Lays it up top, that's Joey Farrar. Colbertson. Whoo! Good patience on the ball with the defender coming down on him. Good touch from Hine. Hine has a through ball out wide. Dwanger with a nice build up here. Ferrar is not marked right now. Try to get it over to him. It's just a bit heavy. Thompson gets a header on it. Mayick, though, will settle it. Whew, look at the vision. Gosh, Orm put it into Gonzalez. Still loose and finally cleared out. And we're going to get another foul against Northrup. That's a handful of them early, 13 minutes into the match. Let's see if Sturman takes this one. It's going to be Owen Hine, the sophomore. 
will take the right-footed free kick. 35 yards out. Two-person wall for Northrup. Hine, the shot. Yeah, that's heavy. Out for a goal kick. And yeah, it looks like we got two accidents at the same time over there. <laughs> Oops. Hopefully everybody's all right. Went short wide. That's Elijah Nino Cuevas who's checked in for Northrup on that left back. Goshorn up top to Mayick. But Anderson, he comes off his line so well. He reads the ball. Hine, good ball. He's on side. Woo, and again, Lopez and Anderson showing you how to keep, folks. Namek, Mayek, and Anderson. It's going to take something special to beat these keepers, especially early here in the first half. You have one more soccer broadcast for you tomorrow as I'll be back here. Back on the girls' side as Bishop Dwinger will host Homestead. And Hunter is going to do a little play-by-play -play tomorrow. As I believe that's Leo and Northrup. At Leo? Northrup. That's at Northrup. So we got two of the best matches all season coming at you tomorrow evening. As Lopez will pick it up. And take a peek downfield and absolutely blast one. Oh, wow. What a boot from Lopez as the rain falling a little bit. Now here at Bishop Dwanger. Oh, chance. Good sliding tackle. As the umbrellas start coming out now. Left-footed out, Swinger. Far post. Gonzalez is there. Oh, just skimmed off the top of his head. And we'll go out for a throw-in. Substitution, another one for Dwanger. Can you see over it? You're good. I'll make it work. You just stay dry. We'll talk here with Hunter. As the rain, as I mentioned, starting to come down a little bit. Looked like it was going to hold off for us. But as soon as you think that, that's when the rain comes, of course. Fans ripping out the umbrellas right now. The throw in. Looked like that came up and hit the hand. Nope. That's going to be a throw in Northrup. Just under 23 minutes left in this first half. Ball played far. Off the head of number 23, Will Walter. Doing her throw in. Aguilar trying to settle it, turns a corner, goes through two defenders. Who was that last touch? That was last touch by Northrup. Goal kick coming for the Saints. What a battle we've seen thus far. Really no shots on goal as of yet. That's been due to the nice goalkeeping. Farrar trying to get to it, gets a header on it. And smart play. A great defensive play. There was Savage. On the move there is Goshorn taken away. Clark to Farrar, and that's going to be out for a throw in. <laughs> Let's 
Scoops it back. But Will Walters there with some space. Puts it back over midfield. Uh-oh, little mistouch. Farrar. Nice little cut dribble. The cross. And just no one there at the end of it was looking for McKinley. Another goal kick for the Bruins. Look at that touch. That is just nasty. Now Mayick lays it out wide to Heno. Cleared out by Dwanger. See if Northrup can get a little possession going. 50-50 ball played wide by Aguilar. Goshorn. Couple walkovers. Dervisevic, you got to close out on him. He will rip it from deep, I'm telling you what. So will Mayek. Gosh, Orange showing you some skill. Woo! How about that flick from Aguilar? We're in that captain band for Coach Jones. Great job by Hine to maintain possession. Uh, that's going to be another Northrop foul. Starting to pile up right now against the Bruins. Free kick. Aaron Clark. Towards the top of the 18. He's trying to get Quintana. Now Mayek. You just think he has no space and then he flicks one in like that. Reynoso. And then the slide tackle. By Hano. Good build up. Oh, good defensive play by Ryan Close, the junior. Quintana got a touch on it. But here comes Northrup. Goshorn. Had a couple of Northrup players on the run. And that's going to be kept in. Had to because of the pressure from Northrup on that far side. Mayek, Goshorn, goes to the right foot, cross. Oh, a little back heel flick. <laughs> that was sick. Didn't put it on goal, but that was a tremendous touch. Whew. I know. Uh-oh. Here's a chance. Northrup. Cuts it back. Dervisevic. Left foot shot. And just wide. Best opportunity. Just goes wide for their leading goal scorer, Honest Dervisevic. Nearing 17 minutes. Line drive ball played out. I know, flicked it. It came to Thompson. Now Aguilar. Trying to get Mayek up top. Quintana and Lopez is there. They'll scoop it up. When your sub is awaiting. And 
couldn't keep it. Could Clark throw in Northrup? Mayhick, the little bender, and Anderson is there. Gonzalez again. Uh oh, Mayek has Gonzalez. He's gonna. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, Gonzalez let him know. Hey, I had. I was unmarked. I couldn't get it back to him. What a crowd on hand here for this SAC battle. Last two undefeated squads. Bishop Dwanger still has Northside to play tomorrow. As Gosh Warren couldn't get keep that in. Off the foot of Hine, Northrup throw. And oh. Here's Hine, trying to shake free. Good ball. Thompson. Sturman had good pressure from Northrop, though, on the backside. Hine, ooh, great header. That could have led to a 1v1. Hine with the nice leave. <laughs> Cut dribble back to the center of the pitch, trying to find Farrar. Now the counter, Dervisevich, out wide, Gonzalez, and he was looking for Mayek, and just not angled enough. I know. Back towards midfield. Moravik. Try to come near side to Al Salahi. Ran out of room. Now Lopez will play it back into the attack. Uh oh, here's a chance. With Gonzalez, a great touch. 1v1 shot. Goal! Miguel Gonzalez tallies the first one for the Northrop Bruins. They lead it. One nil. That was a great ball played to the speedster Gonzalez, who made a outstanding touch, I believe, with the knee to bat that one forward as that started from Lopez off the head. Look at Gonzalez off the thigh, and then calmly beats Anderson for the goal. Woo! So there we have it. Northrup strikes first. 12.42 left in this first half. Mayek. Uh-oh. This is where he's dangerous. And had to be played out to touch. Or out for a goal kick. Mayek will head to that far flag.
That ball is wide and high of its mark. Looks like the rain has pretty much slowed to a stop here. And we got a stoppage. Not sure what the stoppage is about. Looks like number 19, Brian Quispy, came out with the wrong shorts on, I think is what the problem was. Had the white shorts instead of the blue shorts. Farrar, look at Dervisevich. That subtle little touch breaks up the offensive attack and the momentum of the Saints. Uh oh, here's a chance. Oh, offsides. That assistant flag went up immediately. Look at that ball. Sheesh. I know. Lays it wide. Goshorn took a shot. Deflected by Clark. Now Dervisevich. He can shoot it from deep with either foot. Clark trying to find Farrar. And another great slide tackle from Dervisevich. That's several of those here in the first half. Under 10 and a half left. Substitution for head coach Carlos Cruz. That's going to be number seven. Quinn McKinley, the sophomore, checks in. I'll play it back to Walter. Now Anderson. The left footed blast. Sturman pops it up. And then goes, gets it. Good job by Aguilar to stay with it. And a miss hit. And we'll go out for a throw in. Kept it in. Aguilar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Morvik pressured. The ball flicked it to Mick. Uh-oh, dangerous. Good ball here to Goshorn. Goshorn. Oh, he didn't take that first touch. And then that ball is deflected wide. Gonzalez was looking for a second. Now, yeah, Mix telling Goshorn, just take that shot right there. Had a slight open spot of goal. Eight minutes left in the first half. <clears throat> so Dwinger had a lot of possession through the first ten minutes. But Northrop has dominated it here. Oh, great hustle from Baker. That led to a mistake. Now Dwinger throw. Never 
Savic. Baker just showing you the effort level here, and that's going to be a foul on Northrup. And another free kick for the Saints. It's going to be Aaron Clark to take it with that left foot. Left-footed free kick. Plenty of action at the top of the 18. Goes far post. Off the head of Sturman. Uh, then cleared out by Northrup. Gonzalez. Anderson, good settle. Now leaves it, Walter. Good ball by McKinley. Thompson trying to track it down. We got an injured player down, it's Hine. Looks like he rolled the ankle, starting to walk it off. Anderson off his line will grab it. Left footed blast. Looks like Morvick got a header on that. Holbertson. Now it came to Goshorn. Mayick. Oh, look for Gonzalez, a little outfooted flick. On that through ball near side. That duo is extremely tough to handle defensively. Substitution for your Saints, number 14, Joey Farrar. Joey Farrar back in for Dwanger. <clears throat> Looking for Baker. Picked off by Aguilar. And it's going to be a foul. No advantage given there, which you had expected. No free kick from Northrup. There's no wall. Aguilar takes a shot and a one-hop save from David Anderson. Hine, good touch. Can he get it near side? He does. McKinley has some space. Looking for a runner. Oh, great defense from Al Salahi, and it's going to get a foul on Dwanger. Al Salahi just stood strong. Free kick, Moravik. Lopez flicks it here. Off the head of McQuit McKinley. Also Lahi looking for the throw in. He's going to play it back to Lopez. Who one touches it out towards midfield. Settled by Walter. He wants to start the attack. Can he get it over the head of the defender? Nope. I know. Try to pop it out into space. Looking for Reynoso. Another Northrop throw in. Under two and a half minutes left in the half. 
It's exactly what we expected here tonight, folks. Now that's going to be a foul. Oh, no. Looked like the forearm got out there a little bit too much, but it came to Hine. Good job by Baker. Colbertson. Hine has Thompson. Thompson tried to sidestep on it, dispossessed. Looking for Farrar. Goshorn there, a little juggling act. Still going. How about the skill level? By Casey Goshorn. Headed down to Sturman, who pops it up. Now it's Alahi. Whew. Good touch. Dervisevich, through ball near side, Gonzalez. Can he get there? He does. Miguel Gonzalez. A little dummy, but there was no one there for Northrop. Now Dwinger can counter. Farrar, good dribble. Good recovery from Aguilar, and he takes it away. And... Right in front of the official, Aguilar tripped up. Farrar, and he's going to get a card. Nope, just having a scolding. Well, there's 55 seconds left on the scoreboard, so we'll match that up. It's going to be Aaron Clark with an opportunity here with under a minute left. Clark with the left foot. Played opposite side, headed up. And offsides again. I believe that was Culbertson. Under 40 seconds. The restart. A little back heel flick from Hine. I know. Wins that one. Hine. Got some time here. Fair R. The pressure and smartly played out to touch by Northrup. Under 10 seconds, the cross, and Lopez is there, and will fall on it smartly. And that is halftime. Northrup with the one goal. Let's take a look at it. As our traction athletic performance replay will show us. Watch Lopez with this scalding ball. Skimmed a header there, uh, fell to Gonzalez. That first touch right there is what set up this left-footed goal for Gonzalez. 1-0 Northrup on top. And that's where we sit at halftime. Northrup with the advantage. We'll go ahead and take a break and come back. SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. 
Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcasts. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen the, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. And I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. 
Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Halftime, 1-0. Northrop on top of Bishop Dwanger, the last two undefeated squads in the last week of the Summit Athletic Conference battle. I told you I'd let you know sectional play where these two clubs will go. Northrop in Class 3A. They'll head to Huntington North. Well, they will get a first-round bye, and they'll take the host squad, Huntington North, on. Uh, that's on October the 4th, the top half of that bracket. In the, in the uh, quarters is Homestead at Wayne and Columbia, uh, Homestead against Wayne and Columbia City against Warsaw. Winners of that will move to the semifinals. And then the winner of that match will play the winner of Northrop and Huntington North on Saturday at 2 p.m. For Bishop Dwanger, they will head, uh, they're in class 2A. They'll head to sectional number 22 as they also got to buy in the first round. Uh, they're at Concordia High School, just a mile and a half down the road, as uh, they'll play the winner of Manchester and Culver. Bottom half of that quarterfinal is Concordia against Wabash and Rochester against Tippecanoe Valley. Winners of that will move on to the semifinals on October the 4th. And then the championship match, 2 p.m. on Saturday. So halftime break here on Shields Field. I'll take one more break and come right back to the start of this outstanding match. Right here live at SummitCitySports.com. Joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. This broadcast brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team. Including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to ParkviewSportsMedicine.com. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. I'm enjoying the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 70th year, 71st year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. Tom Seal Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Not Water Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind to the entire process from bed to build. Visit OttenmullerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the Summit. Anderson Heating and Air Condition is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? 
plus expunging your criminal record or getting your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfectant services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refri refrigeration. Visit TJWIndustrial.com. So it's second half action here at SummitCitySports.com. Hunter Sosenheimer on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. What a battle we saw there in that first half. The one and only goal from Miguel Gonzalez. We'll show you one more look at it as it was set up by Luis Lopez. Absolutely rocket of a right foot. Boom. Right there, skim day. I couldn't tell if that was a North Dakota Dwinger player that hit that. But Gonzalez with that perfect touch off the left thigh to the left foot for the goal, the one and only thus far in this match. So 40 minutes up on the clock. 1-0, Northrop on top. This has a chance and could go to overtime if tied as this is a conference matchup. If it is tied and goes into overtime, you play two seven-minute halves. Whoa, Mayak. If still tied, then you'll go to PKs. Lays it near side. That's Nino Cuevas back in for Coach Jones. 50-50 ball. Settled. Devrasevich. Left it to Hanno. Aguilar, right foot shot, and a bit heavy. About two yards over the crossbar for a goal kick. Don't forget we'll have two more broadcasts for soccer tomorrow evening. We'll be back out here, or I will be back out here as on the girls' side, Dwinger will host Homestead. Hunter will head to Homestead, or I'm sorry, to Northrop as Leo and Northrop on the girls' side will lock up last week of the regular season. And sectional play starts next week, Monday for the boys, Tuesday for the girls. I'll be out at Leo for the 2A girls sectional. Hunter will head to New Haven for the 3A boys sectional. On the move, good slide tackle. Yeah, we got a late whistle. Advantage was played. So Northrop will get a free kick. About 27, 28 yards out. A little student section cheer over here to the dot back right. Not mad at it. Got a two-person wall for Dwanger. Somebody needs to mark Aguilar, who's standing right in the center of the pitch. And Thompson eyes him now. Excuse me, Farrar eyes him. Far post, hops through the box and is cleared out of there by Dwanger. I know. Throw in. How about the slide tackle from Aguilar? We've seen several of those from both squads here tonight. Those giving up the body. I know. Cleared out of there by Sturman. Moravik. He's been super solid back in D for Coach Jones. Here's Quintana. Farrar, oh, tried to play it wide to the overrun. And Lopez is there to pick up the deflection. He'll now fall on it. <laughs> A little gamesmanship from Lopez. I 
High ball. Mayak got the touch. Uh-oh. Here's a chance here. Reynoso. Good D. By Culbertson. We'll go out for a goal kick. Anderson. Blast it out towards midfield. Headed by Sturman. Farrar. Flicked it on. Oh, good play from what that's going to be a foul on Dwanger. And Morvik will take the free kick. Ball played into the box. And yeah, just over the head of a pair of Northrop players. Throw in. That's a tough play, and did it nicely. Did Al Salahi, and offside. A restart. Culbertson. Thurman battling with a tough couple of Bruins, and it's going to be a foul. May a quick restart out wide. Played in the top of the 18. Sturman got a piece of it and then helped out of there. I believe that was Clark. And another sliding tackle. Doing your throw. Hine. Check it. That's McKinley. McKinley on the move. Little stutter step. Trying to create space and another good slide tackle. Defensively. Throw in. Coming for the Saints. Picked off by Moravik. He's going to start the counter. He's going to run from the back. He's on the move. They play it wide. Does Mayek. Advantage is played. And Mayek's down hurt. And he's in a lot of pain. And I think they're going to get a card. Referee has a card out. And, yeah, he's going to be carded. As that was a slide tackle from behind. And hopefully Mayek is okay. That was a tough slide tackle and a deserved card. I ain't going to show it to you, but Mayek is down. An outstanding player. We're going to step away real quick here, ladies and gentlemen, at Summit City Sports. Yeah, that was de that was a definite card. He was beat. He slid from behind. He looks like he's hurt and bad. The way he reacted, yeah. But he's a soccer player. Yeah. <laughs> soccer players react to that. What, you played against like 20, 23, 25 right. year olds? Oh, he can't even put pressure on it. That's not good.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, Namek Mayek has helped off the pitch. Been a dangerous tackle. Hopefully, he's all right. He's on the bench right now, being tended to by the training staff. That ball flicked up, settled by Clark. Came to Reynoso. No, trying to settle. Check it. That's James Walker who's checked in. He's a high level goal scorer, the sophomore. We're in number one. Good throw. As Sturman plays it out. Yeah, that's going to be a handball. Just took a high hop. And they'll restart the throw in. And Sturman will take it. Thurman, and that rolls out. Reynoso with the throw. Thompson. Good passing here from Dwanger on the counter. Farrar cuts it back. Try to play Quintana. And out towards midfield. And out to touch. Substitution for the Saints. As Namek makes checking back in, that's a great sign. As we got the clock unsync a little bit, we'll get it back on. Here at 30-40, left to go. In regulation in the second half, Dervisevich. Looking to restart it, looking for Gonzalez. Gonzalez, good read. Nope, no handball that hit the chest of the Doinger player. And out for a Northrop throw in. And they want a time stop here. And another scolding by the referee. I don't know if I don't know if that was. He may have threw the ball. He must have said something. Northrop throw in. And cannot keep it in. Dwinger throw. Quintana. Ferrar. And we got another card coming. I'm not sure what it was for. And the card is going to be a free kick for Dwanger. So the referee trying to get a handle on this match, which is an absolute must. Oh, it was a late challenge. It was a late challenge by Northrup that led to the card. Another good call by this official. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. So a free kick coming for the Saints. Lopez, uh-oh, knocked away. Counter, here's Walker. Oh, that's an outstanding touch by Walker. That's going to be a foul on Dwanger. 
Quick restart, Mayock. Looking up top for Sturman, and that's gonna be a foul on Northrop. Both these squads are gonna have to be careful as it's gonna be a tighter called game the rest of the way. How about that shoulder pass from Mayek to, to Dervis Savage, but it came to Hine. That deflected and went right back to Lopez. That's not a pass back on the deflection. Twenty-eight and a half left in this second half. Good ball to Reynoso. Dervisevich scooped it near side here to Gonzalez. It got through. Switches it. Defender was there. And McKinley. And McKinley will play it out to touch. Been a well fought match here, as we expected. That comes across the box. And a foul on Dwanger. It's going to be a free kick coming. Let's see who will take it. Aguilar's coming over to survey. Alan Aguilar. No wall for Dwanger. Tried to drop it to Mayak, he did. And deflected, goal! Northrop with the deflected goal in. Reynoso will be credited. The goal, the second one for the Bruins. And they are in control. That was a well set up play. As Aguilar played it to the top of the 18. And then that dropped to Mayek and deflected off Reynoso. Great touch from Reynoso. And 2-0 is where we set Northrop in control. Mayek couldn't pull it down. Yeah, it's going to be a handball. Be a Dwinger free kick. Take away. It's a great job just coming to the ball there. Did Al Salahi. Mayek. Yeah, it's going to be another foul on Dwanger. Free kick for Northrup. And they're attacking end. Gosh, Orn. Good play by Anderson. Still loose. He will scoop it up. Oh, plenty of time left for the Saints. No doubt about it. But Northrop playing at a high, high level right now. Look at that head pass to Mayek. Gonzalez is onside. Looking for the cross. Reynoso and Sturman is there. And it's going to be a push foul on Dwanger. Another free kick coming for the Saints. Free kick for Northrup. The quick restart. Aguilar 
Pops with the defender. Good play by Quintana. Found Farrar, but just outside the boot. And nearly got to it. Who's going to get to it? Farrar leaves it to Hine. Hine has a runner on the left side. He cuts it back. Finds Thompson. To Sturman. Now they do switch it. Out to Clark. There's a chance. Farrar. That'll roll out for a corner. Wait, I think they called a goal kick. No, it's going to be a corner for Dwanger. Ryan Close, the junior, checks back in for Coach Carlos Cruz. Let's see what they choose to do here. They're known for their short corners. You have Hine and McKinley over there. McKinley, line drive. Off a Northrop player came to Farrar. Try to poke it in. That's going to be another corner. McKinley and Heim come back over here. A pair of sophomores. Left footed in swinger. Oh, nearly got to Sturman. They can let that roll out. That was off of Northrop. Northrop throw. 2-0. The Bruins set on top. It's turned into quite the rivalry here at soccer. Only about two miles separate these two schools. A lot of these Bishop Dwanger players grew up in the Northrop district. For Fort Wayne Community Schools. That will roll out for a Bishop Dwinger throw. And a late whistle, but a whistle nonetheless. It's going to be a foul. Climbing over the back on that header by Northrup. Close. Mayick pops it up. Now to Sturman. Good job by Walker. He's on the move and ran out of space. Doing her throw in. Thompson to throw into Hine. Mayick is there. And it's going to be a little bit too much from behind on Mayock. It'll be another free kick for Dwanger. There's the overrun. Centers it. There's Hine. Baker. <coughs> Farrar. He's onside. Here's a chance for Dwenger. The shot and wide. Substitution for the Bruins. As number 20, Elijah Nino Cuevas will check out. Back in is Brandon Vidal Arias. Sturman lays it to Farrar. 
but a little bit behind Baker. Now Northrop can counter. Mayock has Gonzalez running on the left. Oh, just lost his footing. Regained it. Mayock has Reynoso. Said he's going to put it in the box. Offside. Just a bit too quick of a run from Dervis Sevich. Good takeaway. Walker. Yeah, I was impressed with him the last time I saw him play. The sophomore. A lot of outstanding sophomores on both squads. Here's Gonzalez. Left-footed shot. Oh, is that in? No, off the crossbar and came out. Woo, that was extremely close. Oh, my goodness. Namik, Mayik, he is legit, folks. Are you serious? Goal number three for Northrop and a beauty from Mayik. Holy goodness. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a goal from Mayek. That's tremendous. Three nil. Now Dwanger up against it, down three nil. Hine. Near in 18 minutes. Walker got to it. Oh, good touch from Aguilar. And it's going to be a foul on Dwenger. Four-person wall for the Saints. Mayick with the right foot. Looks like Gonzalez with the left foot. Surveys this free kick. Gonzalez with the walk over. Mayick will take the short one on the ground. And what a save by Anderson. Good hustle, and what a deflection by Moravec. Dwenger throw. Hine. Close. He'll play it back to Anderson. Plays it back out. Quick, 
Just under 15 and a half left. This was a 1-0 halftime game. Fourteen and a half left. That's going to be a foul as Farrar. His foul going to be a free kick from the Saints. Comes near side to Thompson. There are. Try to get it back to Thompson. Hine, good piece of skill. Try to get it to Sturman. Settle back down, still with possession. Good defensive help. That's going to be a foul. And a good spot for a free kick for the Saints. Let's we'll see if they can take advantage. Plenty of time still. 13 and a half left. A little intense out there on the pitch. <laughs> it will be. Owen Hine to take it. Under 13. Two-person wall for the Bruins. Ball comes into the box. Need out of there by Northrop. It'll be a throw in for the Saints. Hine. Last touch by Northrup. Dwinger throw. Thompson will come up to throw it. Into the box. Good header from Thompson. Ferrar plays it to Clark. Sturman. Try to flick it through to Baker. Advantage played for Northrup. Aguilar, Gonzalez, Walker, has Reynoso running unmarked on this near side. They try to get it to him. And it's just going to run out of real estate. Gonzalez to Mayak. Aguilar pops out of the way. And Anderson will come off his line. Slide tackle from Aguilar. Northrop still on the attack. Yeah, that one will roll out for a throw in. Farrar. Good pass. Trying to flick it to Baker. Morovic is there. A 
I know. As Walker up front goes to him. Good slide tackle. Uh, that's going to be a foul on Walker. And substitution waiting. Well, that's, that's rare to stop it for an opposing squad to get the substitution. But the referee looks like he's holding a shin guard. Somebody lost their shin guard. I know, nobody claiming it. Somebody's missing one. As we're just under 10 minutes. Looks like Mayick will get the shin guard replaced and Dwanger will start the free kick. Off the head of Nervous Savage. Here's Farrar. Colbertson, off of Gonzalez, doing her throw in. Thompson found Sturman. Sturman, back to Thompson, slide tackle out of there. There was Savage, puts it back into the attack. Walker's got speed. Uh-oh, that was dangerous. Uh, we got an injured player, I believe, and it was a head Looked like a head injury is why the stoppage. Both players, I think they collided heads. Which usually means a mandatory substitution. Well, let's see, that's what's gonna happen. Substitution from both clubs. Walker will check out, and that is Culbertson for Dwanger. Three nil, Northrop on top. It was a one nil halftime lead, and this second half has been controlled by the Bruins, looking for the third SAC title. Nine twenty. We're just under. And the restart. Here's Walter. Farrar trying to get to it. That shield that was just a little bit too far out to try that tactic from the goal line. That was a good play by Vidal Arias. Dervisevich starts on a dime. Turns, surveys. How oh, about the body control? And then just behind Reynoso. Nearing eight and a half minutes remaining. Anderson. A left footed boot. That's a blast. Looking for Farrar. And then cleared out of there smartly. Reynoso. And offsides was Dwanger. Free kick coming for the Bruins. Under eight minutes left in the match. It looks like Northrup is going to get their third straight crown in the Summit Athletic Conference. They're 745 away from it. Clark. Moravik puts it back into the attack. I know stopped his run because he was off sides. And just missed footing there out to touch for a Northrop throw. Gonzalez tries to flick it in the box. I know. Oh, had space. Good hustle from far. Out. Well, 
Look for Baker. Baker wants to start the run. Farrar just ran about 100 yards. Uh-oh. Gonzalez. And just missed that upper 90. Had it on his left foot, but couldn't put it in the netting. Out for a goal kick and substitutions for Coach Carlos Cruz. Bautista Quintana and Kincaid Miller back in. Mayak, he'll play it back to Lopez. Back to Mayak. Trying to find Hano up top. Ball comes to Sturman. Sturman will play it through Anderson. Out for a Northrop throw in. That was out. Northrop throw again. Five minutes left in the match. Don't forget, join us tomorrow night. We'll be live from two venues. We'll be live right here. Both will be on the girls' side right here, Homestead and Dwanger. Uh, and then Hunter will be at Northrup for Leo at Northrup. Shot, save Anderson. And the left foot blast. Off the head of Moravik. There was Savage flicked it on, but Thompson was there. That's yeah, going to be a foul on Northrup. Free kick. Coming for the Saints. Off of Quintana and Miller. Still loose. Dervis Savage pulls it down. Four minutes left to go in the match. Good luck to Gonzalez, who flicked it back to Dervisevich. This team chemistry for Northrop is pretty tremendous. Looking for a state title as Lopez is there. And we'll shield it. Out for a goal kick. Under three and a half. Lopez will take this goal kick. Seen a little bit of everything tonight. Several cards. Some outstanding goals from Northrop. Some good goalkeeping by both keepers, Lopez and Anderson. Thompson will look to throw it. Dwanger throw in. Hano <clears throat> plays it out in the attack. Good defense by Walter. And then Anderson plays it out to touch. Gonzalez, no reason to rush here if you're Northrup. Up three goals, near in two minutes. Reynoso. Oh, the giveaway. Here's a chance. Quintana, good cut dribble. 
Uh, just a little bit heavy on that, though. Aguilar. I know, plays it wide to Gonzalez. Looking for Dervisevich. Aguilar is going to track it down. Left footed cross. Walter plays it out. Throw in. Bruins. Oh, off the head of Gonzalez. A goal kick. Under a minute left. Thirty five seconds. I want to stop the time because they're missing a ball here. Thompson will throw it. Headed up and out. Make with the bicycle kick out of there. I know. Uh oh. Gonzalez. He's got speed. And the slide tackle just outside the box. And I think they're going to get a foul on Dwanger. And no time on the clock. Let's see here. So he's going to put time back on the clock, I believe. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's a yard and a half outside the box is where he'll spot it. As he's talking to his assistants here on their communication devices. See what happens as they shake this out. So they get a card on Dwanger. <laughs> and then a red as that was his second yellow. So Dwanger a man down, but that will play a part in tomorrow's match. As Dwanger plays Northside tomorrow, that's a red card. And then a yellow on Gonzalez for clapping in the face after the play. And now the referee's going to come over here and let us know how much time, if any, or if he's just going to restart it and go. Not a lot of hurry up here. <laughs> so let's see what he puts on. Let's see. They're talking about it. We'll put 15 seconds back on. That'll be a free kick for Northrup. I think they're going to let Lopez take this. Oh, 
Oh, 15 seconds on the clock. Let's see if they let the keeper, Lopez, try to put one in. They are. Everybody back besides Lopez. Fifteen seconds remaining in the match. Why not put everybody on the wall? There's no other Northrop players around to mark. And there's the whistle. Lopez, that's deflected out for a goal kick. Or excuse me, for a corner. Congratulations to the Northrop Bruins. They're Summit Athletic Conference champions for the third straight year. Outstanding job by the Bruins. They win it 3-0 over Dwanger. Woo! What a match played by the Bruins. And that's where it will end, ladies and gentlemen. Three-time winners, back to back to back. Northrup wins it. And we're going to go ahead and sign off and get ready for tomorrow's matches. Until then, for Hunter Sosenheimer, I am Tim Atkinson. You're watching Indiana High School Soccer from SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here.
Celtics has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've 